Hey Brent, what's this? That's the tank cover for the two-stroke tank. Would it be cool if it was transparent? Yeah, I think it would look great. But how would you do that? I've got an idea. Okay, so now that I'm back at home with the part, let's scan it with the CR Scan Lizard, print it on the Anycubic Photon Mono, and hopefully we get a really cool result. With the final scan looking good, I then decided to process the part. With the part looking pretty good, although not perfect, let's send it up to the slicer to get it ready for printing. Here is what the object looks like with supports and a raft added to prevent it failing during printing. If we look closely during the rendering of it, we can see where a part of it fails. Unfortunately, I did not notice this earlier. I chose any cubic clear resin for this project. I used it because it prints well and it's clear like the name implies. A halfway checkup of the print shows that all is going good, so I will let it continue. And here's the fully printed part. It took almost 14 hours, but it's looking pretty good so far, so let's start post-processing it. Make sure to always wear gloves when you're working with resin. You don't want this stuff on your skin or anywhere near your face. Washing and curing resin parts used to be a huge pain for me, but thanks to the Creality UW02, it's been super easy. I also recommend wearing a respirator when sanding anything that emits lots of particles like resin. Here is a quick comparison of the three parts that I have. On the left is the original, in the middle is the FDM one, and on the right is the resin printed one. By installing the part onto the bike, we can confirm that it does indeed fit, but is nowhere near as transparent as I would like it to be. One way we can improve the surface finish of the part is by using spray on lacquer or clear coat. As you can see, there is a noticeable improvement to the part and even a little shine. Now that I've achieved the best results that I think I can, let's bring the part to Brent and see what he thinks. Here's the part. Wow. Let's see if it fits. Here's the final part. I think it turned out really well considering I've never messed around with clear resin before. Anyway, that does bring us to the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.